Welcome back. Here is our no coconut core worm bin that we've been using this bait cup to lure the worms out of this material here. And the last time we checked in here was 10 days ago. It's probably a little bit too long, but we have a change of plans. I kind of have a feeling that we need to get this bin sifted and get the worms removed from this material into the new bin. It's been drying out for way too long. And then I've been seeing a few fruit flies here and there. So I, my guess is it's coming from this bait cup. I just want to get these guys into a better space for them, into that new bin, and use the castings in the garden. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna check in on the bait cup and then sift the material, get these worms out of here, and this bin will be finished. Let's start by removing the bait cup. I'm not gonna go digging through the material. I wanna kind of lightly scrape the top and then sift that and then keep the worms going down. I'm gonna grab this paper that's here too with some worms. Looks like it's not a lot of worms, just a few. I'm trying to get the castings off, but then I get the worms off. So I guess we'll have to do it like so. Just pick out the worms I see here. Let's do this first. Let's look at the bait cup first, and then we'll sift this bin, and that'll give me more room to work with here while I sift. So. Let's grab the new bin. Looks like we got a few guys that didn't make it here on top and the mites are taking care of that. Let's see. There's one poking his tail or head out. I can't tell. But he has something poking out. Let's make some room so we can dump this out. Oh, we already dumped out the other material here in the center. So let's pick a different spot. How about we just do it right here on this end? Looks good. And let's just dump this out then and see what we got about anything. Seeing a few takers in here. That apple core is still in here. The end of a watermelon without any flesh. Oh, there's some worms right here. but not as many as the first time. Maybe I came in here too late or this material wasn't ready for them to move into. I'm gonna try to break this apart so we can place this in the bin as well so it can break down. that and then let's just cover it up mango seed can hide that underneath so we'll keep it like that I won't cover it totally because we'll be getting a few worms hopefully more than a few from when we sift the castings from the no coconut core bin so I have my empty bin, my handy sifter, a place to put the worms when I pick them out, and the material from that bin. So let's go ahead and get started. 
So the material on the top is really dry. It's already like clumped up into hard pieces. And some of the worms are so tiny, I already know it, that they're going to make it through the screen and I'm not going to pick out all of them. So it looks like we'll have to bait these guys out of here from the, the sifted castings. That's why I like to like bait out a lot of the worms before I sift, so that I don't have to go and pick worms out like this. And just fell through. These guys are like really skinny from being in this dry material, so they'll be happy to go into their new home. Let's just add a little bit more. And kind of shake it. And whatever unsifted material that didn't go through the sifter, I'll place off to the side. And then we can put that material into that new bin so it can continue breaking down and get moisture. There's a lot of worms that just went through that sifter. Somebody recommended that I get a sifter that's one eighth of an inch so that some of the worms don't make it through on the cocoons. So it looks like I might need to get that because the one that I have now, it's one fourth. So it's slightly bigger. The worms and some of the cocoons do fall through. These guys are way too skinny. So let me just spray down this material a little bit, kind of layer it so that there's moisture that goes back in here. I've let this material dry out way too much. And the worms are really skinny. I'd rather bait them out out of this material and give them some moisture. Really skinny. Let's continue. And what I've noticed from not using any coconut core is that there's not a lot of material. With the coconut core, you get like a whole bin full and sometimes you need a second one. And here it's not even gonna be full. The size of these worms is making me feel bad that I let it go too long and they're just so tiny. So let's see if I can pick out some more worms out of here. They're not even like, they're barely moving. spray this down a little bit more maybe I'll get some movement after I spray it and yep I'm seeing some right here
Right now I'm just making sure there's no worms on the surface. Maybe I can grab some before they fall down. And then I'm gonna move these unsifted pieces over. There's that one right there. They kind of get stuck in between this netting and then it's hard with my gloves to kind of pick them up. Okay, let's do one more handful and then we'll check the bottom of this bin here to see if we have any worms on top and spray it down a little more. Well, there's one good sized worm out of a few. See if we have anything. Spray it down a little bit. a worm right here. Move them over. And then I, I see some skinny worms here, but I'm like afraid to even pick them up. So I don't, they're like so fragile, I'm afraid I'm gonna break them. Let's finish sifting the rest of the material. And the bin is empty. I'll give it a good wash after I'm done with everything. So like I said, there's not a lot of material here when you don't use the coconut core. And there's not a lot of worms left. My guess is that they probably all started dying off since it was too dry and that's kind of my fault at this point. Let's see if I can see any movement. There's some right there. Let me mix in some of this material that's on the top that got a good soak. I mixed it a little bit with the dryer material. I already feel it getting more moist. And even if these like bigger pieces go into my garden, I don't really care about that. It'll just break down in there. But right now, I'm not really focused on the material. I'm just worried about these worms now. I waited a little too long to get down here and take a look at them. You know, when something goes wrong in a bin, something goes wrong in a bin. And now it's like only I can blame myself for waiting too long and drying these guys out. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit more, one more time. This material is turning into like black gold. Well, now that it's getting some moisture. Right. 
get some worms. Let's move this off to the side and put the worms that I was able to pick out back into that new bin. And then I will go upstairs and try to find something like maybe a piece of watermelon or something to put in here so that these guys have a food source and maybe they'll be attracted to it and then we can grab some in the next time we check in here. So here is what I was able to get out. As you can see, I've given them a good soak. It's not a lot of worms at all. I'm not really happy about it because I know there were so many more in here. Probably got like 20 worms, 25 worms. That's it. So let's flip these guys over and let them get back to health and start thriving in this bin. So let's cover this up and let them be. Put the plastic back on. Well, and we put the plastic back on, but we forgot to put the things that we weren't able to sift back in here. Oh my God. I'm so worried about the worms that I forgot what I'm doing here. So this is what we didn't sift right here on this paper. So let's just dump it in right on the top. Like so. Let me spray this too a little bit so it's not so dry when these guys go down into the material. They look like charcoal, like little tiny pieces of charcoal, this, this dried up castings in material. Now we can cover this back up. And let me go grab something good from upstairs to place in those sifted castings. So let's actually, let's see, make some room here. And I'm going to put this napkin here. So I can place the frozen pieces right on top of it. Let's cover this up. So we got probably a third of this bin here of castings, so not a lot within that six or seven month period. Oh, I got another good size worm, I'll move him right away. And I'm seeing a good amount of cocoons in here as well, so maybe they'll hatch for me and I'll keep these. Casting is a little longer so we can grab all those cocoons. And then I'm just going to place this paper right on top like this. Just to give it kind of like a little covering. So not a really happy chicken. I was kind of hoping for a little better outcome but it is what it is. And we can learn from there and... Hope for the best. So I will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.